All right, so I'm back to uh, getting on this trailer project going. <clears throat> kind of have it just sitting on the top of my um, axle right now. And I'm gonna take these plastic bits out here in the middle on both sides. Um, then I'll figure out how high I want it to sit. Sorry for all the background sounds with crows and cars. Anyways, let's get this going and figure this out. Right, I flipped it upside down. Uh, first thing I had to do was take these plastic chunks off and then I spread both of these uh, side rails out a little bit wider. Now I have 38 inches in between the both of them because my axle is exactly 36 inches wide from the edges of the tires. Okay, so I literally just tacked some materials together. Um, I got it all measured out of my distances here between the axles all around. Um, my widths are about right. <clears throat> now I got some extra cutting to do, some grinding. Then I'll be welding more. Now you gotta remember this project is all about just low budget, just cheap, quick, easy. So that's what I'm gonna stick with, at least for now. I'm um, just using a flux core wire because that's all I have at the moment. Um, but other than that, yeah, simple. Uh, I know this thing's pretty tall right now. I am gonna take another section out of the bottom this is just so it doesn't sit too tall. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with attaching all of this. Got more reinforcement to do here. Uh, and gonna do a hitch part. That will go to the back of the ET, of course, for the ball hitch. <coughs> now, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, other than that, it's pretty good clearance. This side, yeah, it's tight. That side has a little bit more give. Um, this reinforcement right here. I can take it out if I want to. I'm just not sure if I will yet. I just have to modify this a little bit so it sits, sits lower to the, the cage. Okay, so this is how far I've come. Um, it's MIG welding with flex core wire, so it is very ugly, I know. Again, budget based, but this is what I came up with. <clears throat> with scraps just laying around, basically. Um, all of those supports down there. This is a very heavy gauge plate down here. This center piece is actually a 16 gauge um, compared to the rest of this, which is a little bit thinner. Uh, so it's a good support. I kept it in there. All of those down there. Um, spacing turned out nice too. Probably can't tell, but it's good. I've got these little uh, sort of skid bars here. I'm going to have the square tube come through here uh, with the ball hitch receiver on it. Um, and this right here will kind of act as a skid <clears throat> in the uh, woods or wherever. Um, so this is actually going very differently than what I imagined. But that's just what creativity does. Anyways, whoops, now I'll probably flip it over, cut the uh, top section off, and call it good for today. Alright, this is the final look of the day. Uh, looks neat. As I said, I'll cut this top section out, because it's just a little too tall. Um, it's sort of just leaning on the quad right now, but I like the ground clearance that I get. Um pretty decent you hold it straight like that 
Uh, so I'm gonna get some two by two square tubing to attach down in there, and then get a hitch uh, ball hitch receiver thing bolted on, <clears throat> and we should be good to go. All right, new day here. <clears throat> I decided this is just gonna be one long episode, I guess you could say. Uh, so I did a little shopping today. Went to Home Depot, bought some acetone, some heavy duty paint, oil based so it doesn't rust the metal. Got a brush. Um, now this 2x2 two two steel buddy hooked me up for a great deal. Uh, this is going to be my main like hitch part. <clears throat> uh, it's a little thick for this application. The wall looks like it's a quarter, but best thing for the buck I guess. Uh, anyways, that'll get mounted right in here. Uh, I got the paint to go over everything, so I'm going to have everything black, at least down here for the first part. I don't know if I'll get more black all up here. Alright, so I'm just going to clamp it like this. Now, my method of being able to easily and quickly remove this are these safety pins. Um, and they fit just perfectly all around through here, so one there and one there. They'll be up like that. So I'll just drill holes, same diameter as these pins, and then I'll be able to paint this end and paint probably the most of it before I weld, do some welding on that to attach it to the actual trailer. Alright, so pretty straightforward. <clears throat> got three of these lock pins, they're like three or four bucks each at Harbor Freight Tools. Drilled the holes, now this is a little bit sloppy, but I'm fine with that. <clears throat> um, if anything, I'll redrill it, come up with something tighter. Um, but anyways, it all goes together quite well. I'll actually just paint it after I'm done with all of it because this is removable. Uh, so let's begin doing some welding and whatnot to the trailer. All right, the trailer hitch is welded in the middle of the trailer. I know it's offset here, so don't get uh, confused. Um, we got these extra angle reinforcements here. And here, I know flux core welding is pretty ugly, but it gets the job done. There's that. So I think now we could start cleaning up some of this uh, burn slag and whatnot. <clears throat> start painting it. Okay, I've finished it up and I got it all brush painted, this black paint, uh, it's going to be flat black. I've got basically all of the welded parts, even where I threw some tech welds there. Uh, so all of the welds are covered in paint and then basically all the rest of it is painted up ready to go. I don't know if I'll paint any more on the bottom. It's all galvanized steel so I'm not too afraid of it getting rusted or whatnot. And there's my little helper right there. Went a little bit different route with what I was going to do with plugging up the square tubes. Um, so what I did was I cut off my second or the, the layer here. It's over there. And I take the square tubes and I spread them open uh, with a screwdriver and a hammer. And then I basically took a hammer and I bashed them all in as close as I can. And I just welded them up best I could without burning holes through. And now I'm going to do some grinding to clean it all up and uh, make it nice and smooth. And then we'll be painting it. That escalated quickly. I got them all grinded, cleaned up, painted. It's basically done. I was thinking about some sort of gate here in the back, like either swing down or swing to the side, but uh, if anything, I'll get creative with them later. Now, the only thing I need to find out is how well does this trailer really do with the straight axle, because 
turning it, the tire the tires are fighting each other, which like here is kind of, you know, it's hard. But in the off road case, it might be okay. I might have to figure out how to separate the two axles someday. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll give it a little test. But there it is. Quick little budget trailer.